Let me tell you about a specific attack of our privacy by the Facebook app. It has to do with something called a MAC address, which in essence is a serial number of your device. In the past, this has been private information. First, I will tell you what this MAC address is and how this abuse can allow creepy Facebook to spy on you in unprecedented ways. Coming up next. In the Facebook data policy, Facebook revealed that it was tracking a piece of data that was previously not collected. This data is the media access control address or the MAC address. You're all probably familiar with the IP address, which is captured by most websites and apps that you interact with on the internet. This is already used to track you in unbelievable ways. But what's so special about a MAC address? Well, for one, it's unique to your device. It's actually tied to your network hardware. So a computer may have two MAC addresses, one for the Ethernet port and one for the Wi-Fi. Your phone has a MAC address tied to your Wi-Fi as well. MAC addresses are used to negotiate traffic on your local area network, meaning your home network or your office network. It is not a piece of data that is seen by websites because it's not part of the internet traffic. It does not pass through a router. It is not part of an IP packet. So no one outside of your LAN can normally see a MAC address. Again, the main characteristic of your normal MAC address is that it's unique to your device. Thus, it is your device signature or your device fingerprint. You can protect your IP address with a VPN, but a VPN cannot prevent Facebook from capturing your MAC address because they do it on your local network. And apparently, to Facebook, it is not enough that they track your every move on the internet, but they've crossed a new line with the MAC address. And in their desire to invade your privacy, it's no holds barred, people, and you are once again the victim. Normally, a MAC address is collected only by a network protocol called ARP, A-R-P, or Address Resolution Protocol. ARP is a protocol which allows machines from the same LAN to talk to each other. Apparently, the Facebook app is able to run ARP or emulate ARP to get the MAC addresses on your network. Hackers use ARP all the time, by the way, because this can be used to spoof a device. Here's an example of the ARP command and how it can retrieve MAC addresses on a network. This is from a Linux command line. The part that says HW address or hardware address is the MAC address. This particular MAC address behavior I will talk about applies to the Facebook app, not the website, the app. The capability to run system commands like ARP is not limited by any permission on your iOS or Android, so they are able to take advantage of this. They cannot access the MAC address using their website. I advise people to never be on Facebook, but it's even worse when you install the app. This is ripe for Facebook to harvest since anything that identifies you uniquely is important to them. Their data policy does not specifically state why they collect your MAC address, but I will try to explain to you what could be done with this data. First, Facebook doesn't just collect your MAC address. It actually collects all MAC addresses it finds on your network. A MAC address not only identifies a specific device, it can also identify a vendor. So it could specifically point to a device type or a device model. The MAC address is created by the manufacturer of the network hardware. And since Facebook tracks device MAC addresses wherever the Facebook app is installed, it also means that they know who is on your network and who are Facebook app users. 
This means they can create a relationship map which can identify those who live together. Now, they already know this because all of you are in the same network and thus you have the same IP address. But where this gets really creepy is, is that it knows all of you who are at Walmart, all of you at the neighborhood bar, all of you at Starbucks, all of you at the supermarket, all of you at the courthouse, all of you at a particular doctor's office, all of you at your church. This tracking can occur anytime there's any sort of Wi-Fi in the area, which is of course everywhere. This is also used to circumvent your location tracking preferences. Let's say you set your location tracking for the Facebook app to disabled. Well, that doesn't matter. All that Facebook has to do is track MAC addresses and they will discover the MAC address of your Wi-Fi router. This is collected already by Google and Apple to track your locations using Wi-Fi triangulation. Google and Apple have an exact location for every Wi-Fi router in existence. I explain Wi-Fi triangulation in another video on location tracking. Now Facebook is getting this data too and can then find your exact location based on the location of the Wi-Fi router. Because they have the MAC address of the router, they don't need to get your location exactly. In fact, Google shares the location of the routers in their geolocation service as long as you provide the MAC address of the router. This is just crazy stuff. You can spoof a MAC address, by the way, but normally this will not persist when you reboot. And if you have a conflicting MAC address, it could prevent you from accessing the network. For all practical purposes, you cannot spoof your commercial Wi-Fi router's MAC address. I can spoof MAC addresses of my Brax Wi-Fi VPN router. I will add this as a permanent feature later on so that Facebook is deprived of this information. But they will still get the MAC addresses of people in the LAN who use Facebook. So, for the sake of your family, don't ever have the Facebook app installed on your zucking phone. Apple, by the way, tried to spoof MAC addresses on iOS in version 8 about four to five years ago, but it didn't work out. It created other network problems, so Apple's aware of how MAC addresses can be abused, and they have not re-added the MAC address spoofing in all the newer iOS versions. So, if you happen to be in the same Starbucks as a terrorist, I'm sure you'll be associated with that individual just by being on the same network. It is sickening to me how the whole existence of Facebook is to steal information from you at every opportunity. In case you missed the videos, I have already explained how Facebook tracks your every website visit using browser fingerprinting, your purchases by getting credit card data from MasterCard Visa, your locations from the metadata on your photos, your relationships through your contact list, on and on and on and on. This MAC address fingerprinting is just over the top. I call this an attack and not just some Facebook feature. This is Facebook hacking your network. Now, fortunately, whenever Facebook collects certain data, they will put it into their terms of use. They will not hide it. But... Their lawyers will explain it in technical terms that the average user will not understand. So you will just agree to it. So I will always be the one to interpret it for you since I understand the technologies. Again, to protect yourself from this specific attack, just don't ever install the Facebook app. There are likely other apps that are abusing our data like Facebook, but because of their scope, what Facebook can do with this data is unique. So much safety can be achieved by never using evil Zuckbook. If my content interests you, please subscribe to my channel so you get informed of my regular videos and hit that notification bell as well.